What is up ladies and gentlemen and you welcome back to the channel. Today is the day for the first hangboard session of the Big Bad Comeback Battle Plan. The program is gonna be simple. We are going to determine my max hand capacities, my current max hand capacities that is. Let me breathe. Uh, five seconds hang on the small lateral beastmaker edges, both handed. How much bonus weight can I add to be still able to hang 5 seconds on these on two grip types? First of all the half crimp training grip as you guys know him and then we have also the three fingers open grip. This is another more specific uh, grip type which is not so often trained but I find personally this is quite interesting because I'm quite weak on the three fingers open compared to the half crimp. I would say let's get right into it. I already warmed up, I already did a couple of hangs and a couple of pull-ups on the Beast Maker on a couple of various holds, you know, pretty standard stuff and now I feel I'm quite warm. So let's add the first couple of weights. As you can see, we've got a variety here of weights to choose from. Got here some kettlebells, some, some, some weight discs uh, with a rope and here we also have a backpack, okay, backpack with a couple of bottles of mineral water here in the back if things get really serious. At the same time we have to be a bit careful, this is the first hangboard session in a long time, we don't want to ruin the finger tendons and finger joints right away. As you can see we've got four kettlebells here on this rope, these are four, no, three kettlebells here on this rope, sorry. Four kilograms each, that's for you math geniuses out there, how much weight? Yes, 12 kilograms of bonus weight, you are right. Of course, we're not gonna be satisfied with this kind of accuracy. I also have here a scale right below the Beastmaker, right below the hangboard. So this is 79.3 kilograms. Let's see if I can hang it for five seconds, shall we? We're gonna start with the half crimp grip type. Okay. I would say that was pretty easy. A little bit of rest and then we go into the next hang. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I prepared a bit of more bonus weight for us. Okay, it says 90.1. Okay. Damn, it was still pretty easy. I did not acquire enough bonus weight. But let me see, we will, we will find a solution for this. Short rest and then I'll be back. Roughly three minutes later, we're back again. Same belt, plus 17 kilograms. But now we actually have all the mineral water bottles in the backpack. That's 96.8. Damn, it was still quite solid. I need to find more bonus weight. Okay, not gonna give up so easily. We're back, I found some more bonus weight. You see this here, a nice poker suit case. Actually, surprisingly heavy. At the same time, you can see now why at some point it just becomes a lot more efficient to simply train one-handed because two-handed you always have to add so much more bonus weight to your hands. Yeah, 104.9 kilograms it says, okay? So this is some serious weight. <sighs> yeah, that was good. That was pretty limit. That was pretty limit. I would say, I mean, it was still possible, but it was already close. If we can find just a little bit more weight, we can probably uh, bring this to a, a hopefully uninjured end. Let's see if we can top the 105. Yeah, 106.3 it says. May the climbing god be with us. was still quite solid actually. There is room for one, two, three maybe kilograms or something, yeah? But I think in, uh, yeah, in the name of common sense, we're gonna stop here. Don't wanna injure myself as well. I can feel already how my shoulder blades are slightly starting to flare out a bit. 
and this is usually a sign of okay you're really getting to your limit you know and then you have to be careful about your shoulders actually so that you don't hurt yourself it is time to test the three fingers open grip i would expect myself to be quite significantly weaker than on the four fingers half crimp i would expect myself to end up in the range of 80 to 90 kilograms maybe closer to 90 than 80. we're gonna test it out now i removed quite significant amounts of weight from the weight belt the poker suitcase is gone and a couple of uh, mineral water bottles are gone from the backpack as well. By the way, before I forget to mention it, of course I did some uh, customizing hangs on the three fingers open just with body weight before starting this experiment now before because if you're accustomed to a different grip type like the four fingers half grip or something you can expect to be quite weaker than you actually are, you know, you need to have a customization to a certain grip type before you train it. So here we are at 91.7 kilograms. Whoa. Ooh, that was really close. Let's add maybe one, two kilos because maybe I'm not super properly warmed up for this grip type yet. There we are at 93.2 kilograms. Yeah, it was as expected in the hang before. I still was not quite fully accustomed to the three fingers open grip. Now it felt actually easier than before, although we had more weight. We need to add some more bonus weight, I fear, to find our limit on the three fingers open. Two more balls, mineral water went in and a honey glass. There we are at 91, uh, 98.1 kilograms. Oh. Okay, that was really close. That was really close. I don't know if I still was inside of the five seconds or already out, but that was really close. I would imagine myself if I'm super properly warmed up and everything went according to the hangs perfectly, so to say, maybe I could go up to 100. But let's stay there for the sake of common sense, okay? So that's some pretty cool things to work with, I would say. These numbers would be nice to improve. The thing that I'm going to do here now is, of course, I don't want to throw around these crazy amounts of bonus weight all the time. I'm just simply going to take my pulley system now, slap some weights on so that I can actually take weight off my body and then train one-handed on these holds. So here we have 12 kilograms on the pulley system, so that means body weight minus 12, body weight roughly 67 minus 12, that's 55 kilograms, 55 times 2 is a roughly 110 kilograms, so that's about what we could hold both-handed on, on this thing, right, which we were at 106 kilograms, I think. So theoretically, this should be no problem for at least the stronger hand, which is my right one, right? On the four fingers half crimp. And indeed, it is not a big of a problem. However, there is a caveat to all of this, and that is there is of course some friction up here in the pulley system. Eh? So in fact, these 12 kilos are not exactly 12 kilos, they are more like 15 kilos or something like that. <sighs> Works pretty nicely as well, I must say. Maybe a tip with working with a pulley system like that, don't hang it too low, okay? You want to have it as high as possible actually, because otherwise you're hanging like this, and this again can be quite dangerous for popping popping something in the neck or something, yeah? So that's gonna be pretty painful. All right, cool, cool. I think I'm gonna keep training for a while and we'll finish up the session. Guys, and get back into the lighting. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Drop a like if you did, drop a comment, drop an opinion. That's always appreciated and I'll see you soon in the next one. Stay strong, keep crushing. Bye my friends.